Willkommen zurück zum Let's Play von NBA 2K16. Ja, es geht in das letzte Spiel. 8 von 8, Spiel 82. Das letzte Spiel von der normalen Season gegen die Lakers. Und ich muss ehrlich sagen, mich hat selten neben dem Basketballspielen in NBA die Story so interessiert. Kind of hard to believe. These 82 games have gone also teilweise echt blur. abartig, was da abgeht. Trauma, 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 Baby. Aber jetzt will ich erstmal noch echt ein letztes gutes so und geiles Spiel abliefern. Ich muss ehrlich sagen, ich bin mit meiner Leistung in der Wookiee Season nicht zufrieden. Es waren zwei, drei gute Spiele dabei, aber teilweise unnötige Würfe genommen. Vielleicht auch zu wenig gepasst, zu wenig den freien Mann gesehen, also klar, mit einer höheren Wertung wird alles leichter. Es werden Dreier leichter, es wird leichter sich durchzutanken, alles. Aber darauf alleine will ich jetzt nicht schieben, ne? One of just the many signs that let you know just where you are in California. Welcome everyone to the sold out Staples Starting Center in California. Mein Nick Young und auch jetzt mittlerweile mit Roy Hibbert. We're happy to have you with us for 2K Sports Midweek Presentation of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony and courtside Doris Burke. Taking a look at Utah. A dismal... So, wir spielen gegen Nick Young. Ein exzellenter Freiwurfschütze, erlaube dir keine Spielchen bei Blocks und Steals, wenn er am Ball ist. Ein Experte für einfache Dunks, sein Mitteldistanz Jumpshoot aus dem Dribbling ist nicht sonderlich gut. Er hat Schwächen im Abschluss, wenn er zum Korb zieht. Wir müssen Zeit von der übernehmen, kluge Würfe. Exum is out there with Hugh, and it's free. Steal. Hit up a three, the small forward. And Hayward Und gets it to go. Hayward's got his second basket of the game. Bobliga. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. No. You know, there are those who wonder well, if Clay Hayward can come. lead a team to the promised land. However, as just a sophomore, so he led a non-powerhouse college to a championship game. Ja, so, in fact, they just one away ja, danke, the turnover. Fast break, the Lakers, hey, ich, Young is running, and it's blocked. And that'll be war das unser Block? Das war unser Block. <lacht> okay. Turnover und dann erstmal Monster Block. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Russell kicks to Bass. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't get the chance for the end one. Guy. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. The free throw drops for Bass. Bass fällt rein. And so Bass nails both of them. Jazz trail by four. Exum kicks to Gobert. Gobert with a screen for Hayward. Freak passes to Gobert. Hayward dishes to Freak. Shot clock at five. Shoots. The shot is off. Good defense. Ich habe keine Zeit mehr zu werfen. Kobe kicks to Russell. Einfach nur voll für den Arsch. Hibbert with a screen for Russell. Dishes it to Hibbert. Stolen by Exum. And even three on three break. And it's Hayward. That time on the assist by Gobert. And it's six so points for Gordon Hayward. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. Russell dishes to Kobe. One fifty-eight left to play in the first quarter. Count the bucket. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. And, and a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach 
Zack. Oh, eine Auszeit von den Lakers. Ja, ich mag den Fakt, dass das Setup gut war, der Screen war solid, aber du musst auch den Fakt sehen. Dann sagen wir noch, wir müssen Zeit von der Uhr nehmen, um Jürgen Würfe nehmen. Oh, look now at the 2K leaderboard to find out which small forwards have had the hottest second halves of the season from the field. Freak number one. Und wenn du einen Spieler hast, der so gut auf dem Feld spielt, ja, eventuell, weil die auch nicht so viel spielen, ne? Jetzt spielen wir gegen World Peace. Ich bin auf dem Feld. Boy, does it ever. I mean, he's a marksman from anywhere on the court. And it doesn't hurt that he works nonstop to get himself open either. I mean, he's constant motion out there. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. The Jazz also changing it up. Lyles checked in for Rudy Gobert. Booker comes in for Derek Favors. And Hood subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Yeah. Williams gets the ball. Man hat dann einfach besser verteidigen, ne? Former coach of the year Byron Scott now with the Lakers and as you said, Greg, he's not an analytics guy and Clark, I, I think he's a guy that uh, the eye test for him is yeah. huge. Yeah, he feels a lot. Terrific communicator and storyteller. Great experience as a player and as a champion. And I think that all is evident in his coaching style. Three on the clock. Here's Wiles. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Yeah, it's just a smart hey, shot taking listen. advantage of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, the mid-range J is almost a gimme. Williams shot off. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. On. Exum shot is off. Last game for the Lakers. It was a loss to the Thunder. I don't think I was on the three for Ballard. The effort down the stretch. Those final few minutes of regulation. There's so many in the zone hinten drin stehen. Hey, da darf halt so ein Ball echt nicht durchkommen. In the overtime. Yeah, that's a good call, Greg. I mean, there was a little bit of a letdown for them in OT, and that can happen after. Warum springt mir momentan jeder Ball raus? And World Peace kicks to Clarkson. Passes it to Williams. Gets it from three point range. Der macht natürlich sofort rein. Williams has got five points so far. It's me, guys. Kill it's not my try. I'm not going to come. Oder auch nicht. No good on the buzzer, Nein, Peter. fällt nicht rein. And so the first quarter is also wir liegen schon wieder mit sieben hinten. Nein. You want to guard the paint and uh, some of that has to do with myself being able to patrol the paint as much as possible. We want long contested twos. They guard the three point line bring them to me. I'll either hit with a straight up block the shot or alter the shot. So um, contested twos are the worst shots in the NBA. Ah, uh, when you have that sort of focus like Hibbert, that kind of confidence on display on a nightly basis, Greg. So. You are right. Some changes here for the Lakers. Meta World Peace, he's checked in for Randall. Young comes in for Brown. And it's Russell in for Lou Williams. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for favors. Lyle no. comes in for Trevor Booker. Freaks checked in for Gordon uh. Hayward. And it's Dante Exum in for Alec Burks. Taking a look at the Jazz. Burke and Exum in the backcourt. Freak der is out there with Lyle. And it's Gobert Dann. in its set. And let's mehr. now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Mavericks made a big difference. He ended with 10 points and the basket seemed pretty big to him. Ja, also wir hatten im letzten Spiel gegen die Mavericks 10 Punkte. Das war klar, dass das voll wird. Also wir spielen die anderen Spiele schon auch mit, aber ohne dass wir halt jetzt selber so aktiv spielen. On the floor right now. Tell you what, Greg, I think he might be right based on that last game. I'm inclined to agree with you. And the first one drops. Rodney Hood's checked in for the Jazz. And so he makes both from the line. So by the line, gemacht. Jazz have gone five of eleven from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Now here's Exum. He's covered by Clarkson. Jazz passing it around. Here's Hood. He's guarded by Russell. Freak passes to Hood. Den kannst du selber reinmachen. Offline with his three. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats are almost identical. 
the battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Freight dishes to Gobert, and he makes good Boom. on his first shot of the game. You know, that's a case nice. there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. They set the pick. The drive by Russell. Block. Gobert with the block. Aber nicht von uns. Here's Hood. Aber egal, geblockt. He's covered by Clarkson. Mach. Hexum kicks to Gobert. Das? It's Freak, top of the key. Pass to Lyles, out to the right wing. Es soll halt mal auch irgendwann jemand werfen, oder? Hey, wir passen uns hier einen Wolf. Jetzt kommt ja wieder, ich hab meine Zuhörer aufgelöst. Hallo, kann hier mal bitte jemand einen Ball abnehmen? And the Lakers lead by three. Utah has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And Gobert kicks to free. Ja, das Spiel ist zu dir, das Ding gleich wieder zu, zu mir wirft. Gobert dishes to exit. Ja, jetzt wird er noch zugestellt. The shot. Na gut. Erste Halbzeit ist vorbei. Wir liegen mit drei hinten. Noch alles drinnen. Roy, as always, we appreciate the time. Gentlemen, back to you. Thank you, Doris. We'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. So, die Halbzeitansprache überspringe ich dieses Mal, weil ich will weiterspielen. We have a close Hoffentlich ball kriegen wir noch ein bisschen Spielzeit. Wir liegen mit sieben hinten und kommen rein in das Viertel noch. Ja, fast zwei Minuten zu spielen. Jetzt müssen wir halt mal liefern. Ah, oh, ich wollte... Und er geht rein. Es ist so nervig, teilweise machtlos zu sein. Playing for the Bucks. I mean, he is a terrific talent. Yeah, he really is. I think he's an old school guard, Kevin. He can play with the ball and be effective, or he can play off the ball. He's got a really bright future. Loved watching him play and grow Come as on. a uh, one year college guy at Ohio State. <sighs> Lakers lead by eight. Outside world peace. Forgive us. Second chance effort. And it's going to be oh. two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. We go now to the team to find out who the top three-point shooters have been since the All-Star break. Freak number one. And instead of wearing down, as he seems to have gotten stronger, really seems to have gotten stronger, and so has his three-point shooting. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great Come on. focus and efficiency. That's how they built this league. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Here's Randall. Uses the glass to finish the way. Drei stehen lassen in der Zone. Stell ihn mal besser nach der Leiter hin. Utah has gone old two from deep to start things here in the second half. They set the pick. Now here's Freak. Tight defense on him. Oh. Kicks it to Hood. Rocket six. Beinahe verkackt. Utah. Mach ihn rein. 
Gobert can't hit. So for the Jazz, the last game, a win against Dallas. Drauf, 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 drauf. Hat der Pent nicht. To be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. And you can see, he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got him the ball. Oh, he's coming on the court. Come on, he's coming on the court. And immediately got him the ball. Ich sehe keine Chili, da keine Besprechung. Ach, ja, 20 Sekunden noch zu spielen. Bitte, danke. So, it's Utah now. Trailing here by 8. And so in the game for the Jazz. Exum and Hood are the young guard Was willst du machen bei 8 und Stand? Miles with Freak. And it's Price in at the 5. Williams passes to Kobe. And the foul called on Freak. Foul. Foul. Second foul of the game. Also am Anfang gewinnen wir gegen die Cavs, gegen, äh, ähm, gegen die Warriors. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie wir noch gewonnen haben am Anfang. Auch irgendjemand stark ist noch und jetzt die letzten Spiele alle verkackt und vergeigt. Das ist wirklich zum Vergessen. Ja, Postgame Show will ich auch gerade nicht sehen, bin gerade aggro. Weil ich einfach so mein Spiel nicht aufziehen kann. Many thanks, so Kevin. So oh. now we move on to our Jordan Player of the Game, Lou Williams. What do you think, Kenny? I can't imagine a player having a better night. Ich glaube, so ist es auch im echten Leben in der NBA. Einfach wenn du immer versuchst, jemanden zu suchen. Every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he. Zu werfen und zu treffen. Das Spiel ist glaube ich einfach so furchtbar. Da kannst du noch so ein geiles Passspiel haben. Du wirst niemals was reißen. Jetzt bin ich hier erstmal gespannt auf. Ja. Was jetzt passiert nach dem achten Spiel von acht? Denn es muss ja eine Entscheidung fallen. Also entweder wird unser Vertrag verlängert oder wir werden gekickt. Und Vic ist natürlich auch immer noch so ein heißes Thema. Also ich bin gespannt. So, relativ lange Speicherung dieses Mal. Und ich finde es schwer zu sagen, aber ich habe mich zu respektieren in dir. Du bist ein Mann von Konviktion. Aber es ist meine Verantwortung, die Konsequenzen der Art von Denken zu zeigen. Jetzt für dich gewinnen ist alles. Aber gewinnen ist nicht etwas, was du alleine machen kannst. Es braucht exzellente oder am besten kompetente Coaching. Kontribuierende Teammates und Gott willen gute Hilfe. Und wir alle wissen, das ist keine Garantie. Jetzt ist die Realität, dass du nicht in Kontrolle von allen anderen Faktoren bist. Und wir alle wissen, dass das nicht eine Garantie ist. Now the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors, but if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. Now, your relationship with Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Have you been in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is... Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. Cece? Woo! Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. 
Okay, freak. Now, there are very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the markets, the greater resources at your disposal and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, Freak. Thanks, Doc. Absolutely. Team Freak. That's what we're about. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm gonna lose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks you're going to lose. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Capiche. Also, you yeah. make sure it's where you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Mm. <laughs> you guys have made this decision so much easier. What did mom and dad say? You know what they said. I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord, help us. Oh, man. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. You know him. He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me. Scheiß drauf, dass er sauer auf dich ist, verdammte Scheiße. Wir sind Free Agent. Du bist jetzt Free Agent, wähle drei Teams aus, die dich interessieren. Verhandle, wenn du glaubst, einen besseren Deal zu bekommen, aber Poker nicht zu hoch. Okay. Ah, oh, die Jazz haben Interesse. Okay, ihr könnt mich mal kreuzweise. Ähm... Ach, schauen wir mal ganz unten. Also Cavs will ich eh nicht. Sander, ah, nee, 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 nee. Was sind denn die Warriors? Komm, das riskieren wir einfach mal. Ansonsten. Ansonsten, ansonsten, ansonsten. Da habe ich jetzt was verpasst. Was sind denn die Mavericks? <lacht> Wobei. Oh Gott. Ich habe auch Angst, die Mavs, die haben echt eine schwere Season vor sich. Nee, das tue ich mir, glaube ich, lieber nicht an. Hm. Dann. Komm, nehme ich noch die Bulls. Das spielt, glaube ich, auf der Small Forward Position dann, Levi. Und. Ja, Lakers sind jetzt auch nicht gerade so mein absoluter Favorite. Gute Frage, ne? Ja. Ja, ja. Das ist halt, ich habe leider kein Lieblingsteam, deswegen ist das für mich jetzt gerade eher so eine Gefühlsentscheidung. Ach komm. Mit Kobe Bryant zusammen zocken ist bestimmt auch eine coole Erfahrung mal. Wenn es so weit kommen sollte. Runde 1 von 3. Golden. Okay. Wir kriegen bei den Golden State Warriors 235. Naja. Wie sie pro Spiel bei den Bulls 290. Aber bei den Warriors würde ich natürlich plus 13 Minuten spielen. Verhandeln. Soll ich mich echt gleich bei den Warriors versuchen durchzusetzen? Ich probier's. Mehr Geld, mehr Minuten. Ah. Naja, ob wir jetzt 15 bis 7 mehr oder weniger kriegen, das ist eigentlich total scheißegal. Minuten. Oder ich nimm's zu fordern. Komm, ich nimm's zu fordern. 